What is up guys? Welcome back to Ike Tekken Gaming. Today we are doing a project where I'm replacing some fans in my computer with uh, some newer, quieter ones. So something had gone wrong during this, but before I go into that, we're gonna show you what I was doing. So obviously first, I had to remove these uh, old fans um, and unplug them and install the new ones. Now here you can see I'm installing the new 200 millimeter clear LED fans. Um, these are by Cooler Master, and um, yeah, so now the next thing I needed to remove was the water cooling block, or not the block, but the radiator, and I had to remove the fans off that. Now, here is where the problem lies. When I moved that, some air from the radiator got into the pump and completely ruined the pump, and it was unusable. And so as I was trying to install these new, um, new fans here, I uh, got them all done, and lo and behold, when I installed it, it didn't work, so I had to install the stock CPU cooler, which was ugly and loud. Now, um, we are going to take a shipping box, and we are going to throw my old water cooler in it, and we are going to ship it off, and that is because we got a new Water 2.0 Pro from Thermaltake. It is the same model, that is because I sent in a return kind of request, and they accepted it so they sent me a brand new one so we're gonna unbox it here and we're gonna install it so as I open the box here um, you can see it's a brand new consumer version that they sent me which is nice and uh, here's the contents of the box uh, a little bit of literature and we'll throw the box away um, in the box you get those two fans that we'll set aside because we don't need them the mounting hardware a little bit more literature and the actual radiator and pump itself now the first thing we got to do is remove this ugly stock cooler and remove the processor once the processor is nice and clean we'll put it back in and remove the brackets now we're gonna refer to our guide here to make sure that we have the right back plate um, so that we can install that on our existing motherboard because they these kits have all the different back plates for all the different types of sockets for CPU once that was installed, we can install the pump over the processor by tightening the screws in a star or X pattern. And uh, then we could get to uh, mounting the fans and the radiator, which usually takes a while because trying to fidget with putting the screws through the back through one fan and then all the way to the radiator takes forever. And then screwing in the second fan to make a radiator sandwich. So I'm all done here. We're going to put the stuff on the outside. Uh, my computer works again, I can finally upload videos, it's running cool. Um, so yeah, if you guys like this, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date on awesome videos. That's just about it, guys. Thanks for watching. See ya later.